Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. It is another week in the lovely United Kingdom, and with it comes the final new car of the month. And this week, it is a mega car. This is something I, I never expected to see in any video game. The Ferrari 599 Formula Drift Edition. It's famous for a couple of things. However, this is a legendary car. We're gonna jump into this to unlock it. All you gotta do is bang out a season event. It'll literally take you less than 15 minutes. That is what we're gonna go and do today. But two things before we do get into this. I know you guys always wanna see the Forza Thon shop, which is another Koenigsegg. Well, there you go. If you wanna spend 600 Forza Thon points on something. Before we do get into this, as this is the final car of the month, I did want to do something a little bit different and try something new out. For those of you who don't know, Forza actually puts out hints for the cars that are actually going to be coming next month, and these are the hints for next month. Put your predictions in the comments down below. Let's see if anybody can nail some of these cars. I'm expecting to see a Toyota Celica and a Mazda MX-5. The other hints, I don't really know. If you do want to know what cars are coming next week, make sure you subscribe because we'll be covering that ASAP when they get announced. Let's go and grab our Ferrari 599. Hey, three stars across the board. Formula D 599. Wait, are they really not going to call this a Ferrari? You know how usually in Formula Drift, they're rocking things like an old Corvette, an old Dodge Viper? or some old JDM stuff. One guy thought it would be a good idea if he went and drifted this. It's the most absurd thing ever, but that's not where the absurdity stops. It has 900 horsepower. It only weighs 3,200 pounds, and it's got a six liter V12, and I'm not joking here, twin supercharged engine. It's it, it's definitely a pretty interesting engine for sure. It does say Ferrari in there. Which is pretty dope. Big ol' Ferrari V12, like I was saying. Alright, that's pretty cool. The reason this car is so famous is, one, because it's a Formula Drift Ferrari-built drift car. No! For those of you who don't know, this car is also very famous. It's first time ever in a Formula Drift event. It was going around the corner and uh, it had a slight problem, smashed into the wall and well, yeah. We've got 900 horsepower, so I literally have no excuse for, that was weird. I like bounced off an invisible thing there. I have no excuse for not being able to drive this thing well. It is the perfect drift car and is just so, so cool for so many different reasons. It's just awesome. 83k points, that's, that's not even that bad. I will be honest, I don't think anybody's really interested in how well this thing can drive bone stock because it's a formula drift car. Everybody sort of kind of already knows that it's really, really good at drifting. If you checked out my video the other day on these little things called a power build. We're gonna try to turn this car into the most powerful like race car version of this car that we can. We can make it all wheel drive, which I don't wanna do because that obviously pushes us up into S2 class. We wanna stay in S1. We can swap on twin turbos, which again, does the same thing. We've even got engine spacers, yo. Look at that fitment before and after those superchargers, which is kind of unfortunate, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll still give it a go, but I'll be honest, I'm not expecting very much. Come on, Ferrari. And away we go in our Ferrari 599 drift car race car thing, racing a bunch of other drift car race car things. Let's see how it does. It actually feels pretty nimble on its feet and... Like I said, it, it actually has a lot of grip for a car. Oh, okay. With 900 horsepower, you would expect it to be sliding around all over the place, but it, it just doesn't. It, it just doesn't have the type of horsepower that we really need from one of these types of cars. Like you can see everybody else 
keeping up with us. I mean, I'll, I'll say it's actually not that bad for like a power build car. It's very, very controllable, but it, it's just not as fast as some of the other power build stuff. I will say though, to race the thing, actually really, really fun. I was really not expecting that in any capacity whatsoever. Anyways, let's do what we set out to do. This is a drift car. We've, we've got to drift it around. I'm going to keep the superchargers for the moment. No twin turbos, but we will come back and do one more build with it. I don't actually know how much horsepower I'm going to be running, so I'll up the tire with a, a little bit. 335s in the rear. That's not crazy. Weight reduction. Bring that weight down a little bit. Thank you very much. Now it's going to be very very chuckable and now we need some more horsepower thank you very much for like a legit drift build 2900 pounds and 1150 horsepower that is very very solid no complaints somebody says i don't like the walmart body kit <laughs> yo shots fired at ferrari big time with it being the united kingdom it was only a matter of time before it started raining out here on us. Let's send this thing through the corners. Oh, I really got to use fourth gear in this car. Damn, son. I just love how far you can push it. And it's just like, okay, you want more drift angle? Here's more drift angle. No problem at all. That rear wing, when it transitions from side to side, is insane as well. I'm sorry. I know I'm very biased to this car, but this has been something that I've wanted for years. And I'm, I'm still blown away that we have it. Let's go hit up another drift zone. Maybe the one all the way down here by the ocean. 130k is my personal best. We're not going to get near that, but we'll, we'll see what we got. Now it's a lovely sunny day out here in the UK. Send it in. Just, you just gotta go full send. It's insane that a Ferrari can do that. It is so, so cool. It is mind-blowing. 100k? 116k? In something that is rear-wheel drive. We're getting close to my personal best record. In we go. What? What? <laughs> that angle is absurd that it's able to hold. It's just, it wants you to push it harder and harder. <laughs> that is insane. It's almost like you can just switch your brain off and just go, I would like to drift for the next 30 minutes. I got you. Let the car do all the work. No problem. Well, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> it's not the best ever, but I'll take it. All right, back to the festival. Why don't I go back to my dude? Godlike drifting is amongst us. Ken Block Sean coming in clutch. Ken Block Sean, for those of you who don't know, builds one gear tune. You don't have to shift. You've just got to chuck your car into the corner and hold on for the ride because... They're pretty quick things. Honestly, I'm not expecting this thing to be better than the Corvette. The Corvette's lighter and more powerful. Not to mention also a little bit more agile than the Ferrari. So if this thing does beat it, I, I will be surprised. However, it's always fun to at least give it a go and see what some of these cars got. Like, these are just so, so insane. That's 60k points. Already, um, 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 no, no, that would have been it on our first attempt. You might have had it if you weren't a donut. Points, come on, come on, buddy. Yes, that's what I want. Run the outside, run it all the way around. Oh. Come on! Come on! No! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> How do I miss the finish line? <laughs> We're gonna head down here. 
127k points. I, I don't really know what to expect anymore. I am stupid. I am stupid. It's a, it's a classic Ferrari move. What will you do? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's, it's way too powerful. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do this one. Not built for something like this. If we're not built for a drift zone like that, why don't we take it for one more? I'm only going to give you a couple of attempts, Ferrari. I'm, I'm still going to give it a go. I'll give the Ferrari a fighting chance. Is a Ferrari 599, world's most expensive drift car, better than a BMW I set up bubble car? That is the question we are going to be asking ourselves today. Push the angle where I can. Oh, run the outside of the corner. Oh, what a nice line. Oh, Ferrari's pretty good. Yo, we are currently on pace for a new personal best. No way, Ferrari. Um. 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 Uh, huh. Well, well, well. Huh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> How is that possible? How is this the best drift car? Well, I made it into the top 1% in the world. That that ain't bad. I, I, I guess I'll give it another go just to see what'll happen. In we go. Come on, Ferrari. I, I guess let's just do it again and get even more points and clean up where we can. Um, we are on pace for another new personal best. We are on pace for over 500,000 points. Run it out wide. Yes, Ferrari. This thing is just so easy to drift. Honestly, it's kind of insane. Keep it going, buddy. There's 400K already. Keep it on the outside and really try to maximize all of the points possible, buddy. There's 440K, 450, one corner left. You stupid car. I am stupid. <laughs> How is this possible? I was 52 points away. That is insane. Um, I I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm gonna end this thing on a high. My new best drift car in the game. And this is an absolute breeze to drive. Two attempts, two new personal bests. That is mind blowing. Seriously, you guys gotta give this car a go because there's something crazy about it. It is so drivable. What an absolute monster. It feels good to finally end something on a new personal best. Nicely done, Ferrari. You absolute beast.